This is Easton Jackson again. In this video, I'm going to review the process for copying templates from one patient to another, and we'll discuss a couple of reasons that you might want to do that. In this first example, I have two patients who are both being seen for a sore throat. Apparently, strep throat has been going around the X-Men Manor, so two of them have come to see me today. In the first one, Wolverine, I've seen the patient, my nurse has already done the strep throat test, it's positive, and I've done my strep throat note. So this is my basic strep note, I've got my history here. Notice that it includes a copy of this patient's specific medical history and the review of systems for this patient. We've got the examination showing the swollen tonsils in the strep throat and the vital signs for this visit. I've got the assessment here of strep throat. I've got the plan. I'm going to put him on penicillin. I've got my rapid strep ordered and some instructions. And I've got my strep throat documented. I have my follow-up. And I have this build. In short, this one is completely ready to go. Now I realize that I'm also seeing Professor Xavier today for exactly the same thing. And in fact, by the time I get in the room, my nurse has already done the rapid strep test and it's already positive, And I already know that I'm going to do the same thing. Well, I could make my normal strep throat note, which I can do pretty quickly, but another option, especially in a complicated uh, patient presentation, would be to use someone else's template. In this case, we're going to use Wolverine's template. So here you can see I basically have an empty note. It doesn't have anything in it. And this time I'm going to go to Templates. Normally when we go to Templates, we're searching for a generic template and searching for the name. But in this case, I'm going to change it to Patient Specific. I'm going to select them and I'm going to search for Wolverine because I know I just did his note and that's what I want to use. I'm going to click on it, open it, and when I do I can see all of Wolverine's office visits and here's the one that I just did. So I'm going to select it. Now before I quickly hit merge I need to remember that Wolverine's note actually has his medical history, his allergies, his surgeries, social history, etc. Those are not appropriate for me to copy in because they're patient specific. So if you're going to do this, remember that you need to go uncheck the parts of the history that are patient specific. I would also suggest that you uncheck the vitals because they're obviously unique for every patient visit. Everything else I'm going to leave on here, which should leave everything else ordered. Uh, and then I'm going to merge the template. One other caution here is if you merge the plan in, including medications that you've already prescribed, you better specifically go check and make sure that the new patient isn't allergic to a medication that you just pulled in. So I'm going to hit Merge Template. It was merged successfully. When I close it, I can now see the template, and this is Wolverine's note. Again, I didn't pull in any of Wolverine's medical history because I don't want it there. I would bring it in for Professor Xavier in instead. Also notice that in the second one, I didn't have any vital signs there. Typically, my uh, nurse would have put those in, but again, that emphasizes the importance that you need to unclick the vitals box to make sure that you don't migrate that in when you merge this template. Now we can see otherwise, strep throat, the same diagnosis, the same medication has been ordered, everything's been documented. Notice that when you copy this in, it does not insert the results. So in this case, I would still need to go add in the results to say that it's positive in this case. So that's one that even if you migrate in the order, the result will not go in. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I'm going to go look at his allergies really quickly and see are there any allergies. We don't have any listed. He's a new patient. So I'm going to close it, and I know that I'm set. Now I'm ready to go. I can prescribe the penicillin, and now I've quickly done two notes. This is also helpful when you have perhaps mom or dad bring in several kids who are all sick with a cold or strep throat or something else and you know you're going to do about the same note and same recommendations. This can save you a lot of time. Basically do the note once and then you can copy it in. Um, this will allow you to create a note really quickly. It's important that you go through and especially on the HPI and the assessment and plan that you update it. Perhaps this patient has had it for three to four days instead, and they complain that the symptoms are severe. So make sure that you go in and update this correctly because you don't want a complete carbon copy of the note 
unless the patients happen to have completely identical symptoms, which is unlikely. You could also use this if you have three or four patients come in, perhaps from a car accident, and they all have the same symptoms. So this is one way that you can quickly use notes to produce more notes for the same patient or another patient. The other example where we might do this is now I'm going to go to the next day and I'm seeing Wolverine back for his annual exam. Now in this case I've seen Wolverine every year for an annual exam. This is a blank note, there's not much in it except for a little bit of medical history and nothing else. Well I know that I saw him a year ago on Thanksgiving and nothing has changed and I want to bring in that note and I'm just going to edit the parts which may need updating rather than going through the whole note. So I can do the same thing. Now some of you might point out that yes but I could use the carrots here and that would be true however there's some limitations on the carrots. First of all they only go to part of the note but more importantly even if we click it just on me instead of all providers and we go down and say show more we can see that it only shows one two, three, four visits. And I actually want to get his visit from before this. I want the one from last November, and I can't see it this way. This is a limitation of the carrot. You can only see the last four visits, either from all providers or from you. So instead, we're going to do something similar that we just did on the prior note. I'm going to go to templates. I'm going to go to the patient specific. And now look, I don't have to search for it because it automatically goes to him. Now I can look back through the notes I don't see the one that I want, so I'm going to go to next. I keep going back, and look, here it is on Thanksgiving a year ago, his annual exam. Notice that I can merge everything in. In this case, I may want to merge everything in because his history is the same, or if I normally bring in my medical history as part of the intake process, I'm going to uncheck the medications and history because some of that may have changed. In addition, always uncheck the vitals, never migrate the vitals in because they're obviously uh, specific only for that one patient visit and that one patient. But I've got everything else here, so I'm going to go ahead and merge that in. It's merged in. I close it. Now you can see I've done my depression screening. I've done my Medicare annual wellness visit, 25 or 30 questions that they mandate. I can go pull in the rest of his history if my nurse didn't do that already. I would typically have the vital signs entered here. I've got my annual exam the same as last year. Now this one's a little bit incumbent upon you to make sure that you look at the physical and that there aren't abnormalities or changes from last visit that you need to update. For example, it looks like we've got female genital urinary on here. We probably want to take that off on this particular patient. And now I can scroll down. Everything's the same. I'm going to continue his medications. I'm going to see him back in a year and typically I would bill it, although I'm not billing this one because he's a fake patient. So that's another quick way that I can pull a, a patient visit from a prior note. Even if it was 10 years ago, if you happen to be on a clinical 10 years ago, you should be able to pull the note from 10 years ago, and that could save you a lot of time. Again, remember that if you're bringing in large portions of a note, that it's your responsibility to check the note uh, for any updates or any changes uh, and adjust these appropriately. Thank you.